Let's check around a little bit more. Now that I've spotted this guy, let's try to get a drop on him. Can I scan him? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Bad. I don't think that was electric. I think it was etheric. I think I misread that. Did not mean to fall down like that. Whoops. There's an airlock. Quarantine. Hey, a turret. Busted up ass turret. Rads. Not happy to see rads. You can try one of these. No. Now tell me about your rads. Are they gone? They are. <laughs> Anti-rad fabrication plan, go figure, right? Yeah. I think I I think I just trumped uh uh Fallout the Fallout games rat away system. Holy crap. That was effective. The Neural Horizon 3, epilogue of Brandy's story. Case studies of Neuromod donors and recipients. I went to visit the Graces. Brandy had passed from her paraplexus and the connectomy of her ability to skate still remains unused in Transtar databanks. Her parents declined to be interviewed, citing the interviews with Brandy had done more harm than good. Rather than raising awareness of the condition, it had shown the division. Brandy had been one of the first to discover her new handicap. But if neuromods are the future, what happens to those unable to use them or afford them? There we go. Right, because we had the, we had we haven't talked about this for a while, but a, lo a long time ago we were given this idea of like people who can't use neuromods and like that's like essentially it's a, yeah it's it's like essentially being told midway through your life that you now have a disability. But you're like, your body's not any different than it was before, and you're still as able as you were before. It's just everybody else has the ability to advance in a way that you can't, even if you want to. It's one thing to be against the idea of neuromods and choose not to use them, but to be left behind against your will is rough. And there's two reasons to do that. One, a social economic status is a real thing that gets in the way of that kind of thing. But there's also just people that are like, no, I, uh, I can't use that. It's impossible for me. And how do you get around that? You don't. You can't get around it. So that which means that you're permanently behind in a new way. Where the hell is this? Well, that, well that's security right there. Hello, turret friend. Oh! Ari Ludenart. There's the, there's the five... That's the five spare parts. Alice one lobby. I bet this is uh I'm trying to remember how Talos one lobby is laid out. I am I next to security right now? I remember there being a locked door next to security in the lobby, but I might have been able to open that later. I don't remember if that's if that's the currently unknown one yet. Carol Sykes. Erica Teague. Do not share with Weber. 4642. Contact, but the enemy They're... should have held position in the cargo bay. I couldn't, Chief. I couldn't let those people. Can you get to the escape pods? Negative. The escape pods are malfunctioning. It's like they're locked in place. Only four of us made it to life support. Five. I'm picking up Remmer behind you. Negative. Remmer. Remmer isn't Remmer, Chief. These things. Chief, the main lift. It isn't working. We're locked out. Oh my God. Remmer. Remmer's here. Stay away. Teague. Stay away. Teague. Erica, respond. That sucks. So that was one of the, that was before they understood the whole thing where people transform and change in a way that you would hope not. Hey, buddy. Oh, where'd he go? Wasn't there an engineering operator? There he is. Hey, buddy. Let me in. Buddy. Buddy. 
friendo. Oh, there's three turrets in there. Oh no, just one turret. Those are the two are boxes. Too bad they didn't have those for when they were dying. I don't have a way to open that. Is there a vent? Nope. May have to do some really awkward aiming through here. Uh, it should not be this hard. <laughs> it's one of the really, it's a, it's a really minor point, but it's definitely something that bothers me a little bit, is that, uh, pointing a, a gun, pointing the bolt caster through this window at that terminal should be super easy, because it's a straight shot, but, but your video game character, which has two, two heights possible, this height and that height, and if neither height's quite perfect, then you're just kind of SOL. Let's go for it. The utilities. Just the map. What about the door? Well, I mean, downloading the map is also a nice thing, I guess. I don't know if I can hit that specific of a spot. Nah, I don't think it's gonna work out. I'm just gonna waste them all. Dang it. It's a very specific camera angle to go for. The, uh, to the, little, the little bottom bit right there. Can you even download an area map at this range? Like, if that... Do you think you'd have to be having proximity with the device to download from it on some level? But maybe not. There's Eric Teague. He had a bad time around here. Oh, that's... Safety hazard, frankly. There we go. What's that fire made of if it's still burning? Alright, I'll have to keep going and see if I find a way inside. So, obviously I want to investigate you. Huh. Maintenance access panel, but no way to open that one. Maybe from the other side? Tobias Frost. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I'd like to arrange a time to oversee installation of a special particle injector in the water treatment facility. Hang on, you want me to do what now? I've already confirmed the inlet and outlet fittings are to spec. And just what precisely is this thing supposed to inject into our water supply? I'm not at liberty to say. Uh-huh. Well, then, we have a problem, Tobias. Dr. Kelstrup has already seen and approved it. I'm going to need to see a signature from Alex or Morgan or something like that. But, so, until I see ink on a dotted line, you'll just have to keep showing your special injector to Dr. Kelstrup. Psychic water. Oh, no, don't. Don't, that's like... Homeopathy? Don't talk about that. <laughs> Install the psychoactive particle injector in the water treatment facility. Okay. Do, do, why would I? That seems like a not a great idea, doesn't it? It's like about the particle injector. He wanted to connect to the station's water supply. Now that I have the device, I just need to figure out how, where in the water treatment facility to plug it in. The the uh, water treatment facility area is in life support. That seems incredibly problem. That seems like it'd be problematic, right? Experimental device that injects psychoactive particles into the water supply. That seems like a questionable thing. I've got now I've got two quest items in here. Neuromods, zero. Oh, it's flashing because I have new research progress. Right. I was like, why do you keep flashing? I don't have any new neuromods. Found, found the flashlight button again, it's V. I guarantee I'll forget about that a few more times given its letter. There's the door that was blocked. Someone's head got glue gunned? Concerning. Huh. Is that a su- Is that gonna be a suicide note? I bet you he blocked himself in here out of fear. But then ultimately killed himself. With the, uh, with the glue gun by shooting himself in the face, which then suffocates him. Stash in the hall by the escape pods. No time to rig a drop. Good luck, Eevee. So in the hall by the escape pods, there's a stash. 
That was E V though. That's all. That his name would be A W. Oh, Alton Weber, not Anton Weber. Apparently a female name. Yeah, it seems like they killed themselves. After just kind of shooting this stuff everywhere. And the West Stood Tall. Back cover synopsis, alternate history novel by Lance B. Jenkins. In 1964, President Kennedy turned his back on American in interventionism. But what if America had stood up for its allies in Vietnam? Would communism still reign in the East? Would the Iron Curtain have fallen? Renowned political commentator Lance B. Jenkins weaves a gripping alternate account of the days following the Gulf of Tonkin incident and what might have been if America had gone to war in 1964. Jenkins' historical imagination is meticulous, majestic, poignant, 10 out of 10. Liberty Herald. I'm just thinking about the idea of like, what if there was a... Just the idea like, if, if in a sci-fi universe that has an alternate history, if the alternate history novels were just all about our timeline, and like that would all of science fiction would just be about what is our reality to them. Because it's a different world. So I almost certainly know the code to that. But I don't know how to get to you. There's no revealed spot over there. There must be another way in, right? Friend! Why don't you be helpful, please? I can almost talk to him. Hey! He can fix my suit integrity from in there. At least that much works. Why can't you be hackable? I may find an oh no, I've been through here too, so I'm not gonna find another, another way in, in this direction. So I guess we're SOL for now, until I find the right card. Totally possible though, so let's just keep an eye out for that possibility. Nope, there's no space for anything back here. Atmosphere control, or I can go through there. Ooh. There's a lift there. Okay, I'm gonna want to take care of the problem because even though I can climb over it, there is a body there. That almost hit me. <laughs> that was almost bad. Penny Tennyson, one test tube. Well, at least I can say I found that body, I suppose. Nothing else. Alright, so I have two options here. That way and that way, basically. I mean, ultimately I'll check out both, probably. Oh, down we go. Down we go a lot, by the way. It was just on the ground. Went, went for it. Nice, cheap, well, free kill. It says escape pod, so that should be the direction that the uh, thing was in. I'm supposed to find... Oh, you're a fabricator. A recycler in this room? Other side? Ooh, friendly turret. Okay, not friendly. Okay. I'm gonna point you in a sl Okay, what the heck? What is happening? Why can't I just put you down normally? What the hell? Go on the ground when I put you down. Why can't... Why can't you be put down at a normal damn angle? All right, well, that'll have to do. There we go. There's nothing... 
here, collision-wise. I, I was trying to make it face both ways so it can shoot anything that comes this way. What is wrong with you? Yeah, that might be better. Okay, so now deploy. There we go. Now it has line of sight of both directions. Should be a stash in the way, the hallway heading through the, the skate, skate pods, apparently. There's a dead thermal phantom corpse. The dead corpse. Great job, sentence me. There's another escape pods room, separate from the one we were in before. Kirk Remmer. I definitely sent something my way. So as you'd expect, a lot of people went for the escape pods and didn't really make it. Alika, this is Kirk Rimmer. We're in escape pod 8-9. Everyone is secured, but the launch controls aren't responding. Did you follow all the steps on the launch card exactly? Yeah, the klaxon even sounded, but the hatch won't close. We can't separate. Hang on. I'm looking at the schematics. There should be a remote sensor on the explosive bolts. Alika, please, hurry! I see all the leads, but... Wait, this can't be right. Can you launch us from there? Can you at least close the goddamn hatch? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is there a manual crank of some sort? Remmer. Remmer, do you copy? And then he died, probably, while she's trying to figure it out. Unfortunate, but that's the situation. Hardware failures crossed with what's going on. There's a body in there. Emily Carter. Have you seen Price? <sighs> what? He didn't show up for a shift again. He's not answering his transcribe. I even asked Abigail to check his cabin before she came in. HR is going to ship his ass home for sure this time. He was already on thin ice. Thought he was doing good. With the Naltrek zone? Seeing Dr. Cole? I'll call security and have them track him down. Hopefully, he's okay. Somebody may be in the drunk tank right now. Apparently. I believe that's what they call where they store people who are... Just uselessly drunk, basically. When they, when they, if they arrest them, they put them in that kind of spot. There's almost certainly bad things in there then. And they just dry them out overnight, and then deal, figure out what to do with them later. No mimic. Ah! There was a mimic this time. Weird. Getting hard to spot, apparently. Angela Diaz. Another chipset. This. Which one was this one? Fear reactor. Upon killing a typhon, there's a chance to trigger a fear blast on, on other nearby typhons. Ooh. That could be pretty good. Triggering additional. To making the fear affect them could mean that I could have a higher survival chance, basically. Decrease scan time. Now oh, the Typhon thing's pretty good. I should probably look into getting more slots, though. I assume that's one of the things that's, like, here? Yep. I need to go down the Psychotronics list if I want to have be able to uh, install more chips. For that purpose. Sneaky-ass Mimic, actually. It got past my uh, attempt at detecting it. Pain in the ass. Anything down here? I would definitely expect them to stash something down here. Oop, there we go. Alright. I think we're good to go. There's the fabricator. We don't have a recycler right here, though, so I can't do much with that. Might be able to make... I might have enough for a Neuromod. Nope. Need one more exotic material. 
Let's hold off then. Sneak attack. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, it came at me fast. Screw that. Wow, made progress. Fire stays out, right? Yeah. So I don't have to keep the glue blob there and make it continue to be awkward to get around. Can I find that one guy's office, I wonder? I want to find the office of the guy who wants me to put the stuff in the water in an attempt to figure out what that actually is doing. Cause that's... That seems like some a kind of a messed up move to put up weird, like, person altering stuff into the water. And maybe just as bad as using the the uh, mods that I'm not, not doing so far. Turret, hi. Gonna put you right here real quick. There we go. Just in case something something gets mad at me while I walk around. You can be ready for it. No? Don't see anything. Oh my goodness. Well now we definitely now we definitely need to find a replicator or a recycler. Null wave transmitter fabrication plan. There we go. Three neuromods. Uniform guide. I feel like, yeah, we already read that one before. Well, this is a cool place to find. Ooh, med kit. Grade wire. You hide. Nope. That's just O2. God damn, I can jump high now. Okay. Typhon lure. I think that's all we're gonna find for now. <laughs> it's disorienting to move around like that. Okay. I think I still want to save up for hacking four. Well, we just got three pieces of progress right there. And I may even have it. Oh, wow, inventory. Right, sorting fixed it a little bit, but not a lot. I can get some exotic. I can definitely get some exotic material out of it if I can get my, uh, situation going on. Let's see. Deploy. Might as well move the turret somewhere that'll help me. So if I shot that, would I break it and then I'd have to repair it? I assume so. Makes me think about, like, the idea of, like, if there's useful moments for actually intentionally breaking stuff like that. Lock submitted. Deploying. Might as well put them in a nice spot. Maybe, maybe it'll come in handy. How's the map looking around here? Right, because we don't have a local layout at all. Hopefully I find a recycler nearby. This apparently leads to the power plant. Just getting rid of debris that can get in the way of me walking around. There's the facility for water treatment. Raya Lurit. Might be the sibling of the person. Sibling or wife of the person that didn't return that item. I don't think that- I think that was someone's- a different name than, than Raya. There's the power plant, so that's just right here. Oh, hi. Come on over, buddy. Wow, you're way up there, huh? Figure they can kind of cover each other with this kind of layout. 
Hopefully that can get lured into the opening work and help me out. I mean, where they can help me out. But with the height difference, they may not be able to shoot at that range. Oh, that'll work. There we go. Oh, hi. Shoot it, guys. Weird. <laughs> they weren't helping, but it also wasn't particularly aggressive. It was just kind of staring at me. Ooh. What are you hiding up here? You got me curious. Maybe just an alternate way into the water treatment place? Yep. Maybe maybe even the only way. I didn't check to see if the normal door even worked. The turret down there. Is it broken? Yep. Not corrupted, though. Nothing else, though, huh? Nothing else comes up. I'm already up here, so I might as well stay up here. This is my primary goal. Everything down there looks awful. Oh. You don't open, huh? Well, that's not good. Is power out around here? I mean, not apparently, because everything's all covered in electricity right now. But that could be a sign of a... a damage somewhere that needs to be repaired. Cane Rosito. How many people died because of this terrible, terrible idea? Oh! I saw that. Cynthia Dringus. Too far, too fast, three? The Reagan era signaled the end of the government's strong support for the space race. Now, uh... Space now belonged to only the interested few, those who could afford it. Histori historians argued that Reagan pushed for a military justification, and with the right marketing, then perhaps the space program might have survived. However, without a significant threat to the U.S., there seemed little incentive. Our only competitor, the Soviet Union, had already showed their dangers of reaching too far too fast. Sneak attacks restore a small amount of psi. Interesting. I think I'd want to get a uh, more slots first, though. Oh, I, I can just force you open, so you're not much of a barrier. They're gonna give me turrets. I might as well try to use them, right? Where'd he go? Lost track of him. Oh, up there. What? Oh, it's you. Not what I thought it was. Here comes Lightning Man. Staying out of sight. Staying out of sight. There we go. There we go. That did not resolve the electricity situation here, though. Things are still kind of a mess. Roger Meyer. What is this? Electric Junction? Would that, rep would that repair the, pa the part where electricity is leaking out, or would it restore power to something, or what? Definitely doesn't have a current problem with the... It's, n it's not shooting le electricity out of itself, at the very least. The one take on the end looked like, looked like it was filled with fish. Oh, eels. Oh, and a body. 
There's a body in the eel tank. Uh, concern. Monitoring station. Careful now. There we go. Oh, he, electri he electrified like the entire floor. That was... I should have seen that coming, frankly, but it caught me by surprise a bit. Okay, ow. Did not account for that. Whoops. That was a mistake to not to not sh uh, at all cushion my landing there. So if, if I could force that door open, does that mean I, that I was able to force the other one open too if I wanted to? There we go. You guys are good distractions. You're good at that. Thank you. So if I repair the junction, maybe the entire place gains power and these doors open. Did that one let me force it open? Did, did I miss the prompt for the other one? Or what? It didn't seem like an option. Don't see anything else here. Okay. Too far, too fast. Three again. Oh, another one. Backlash reactor. Is it just a higher level version of the backlash thing again? Chance to return turn damage. Yeah, I've got the same thing here. Cheers, vodka. It's the code. Apparently. You can tell it's a code because it has a zero in it. Okay, I want these turned on, and given a lack of other options, I'm thinking that you're what I need. Alright. Also, only three of them. Ooh, a recycler. The power's staying off? I did fix you, right? Yeah. Is there a switch on you, or... No. Oh, that was going to shoot electricity everywhere if the power was on, but the power is not on, so it wasn't doing anything, so now that I've repaired it, it'll not have that happen, but it doesn't fix the power. Wrong, wrong goal here for the concept of a power junction. The supervisor authorizing this request certifies that all safety factors have been considered and are satisfactory. Department re uh, requesting psychotronics, request prepared by Dr. Tobias Frost, area of work, Life support water treatment facility. Works to be done. Installment of psychoactive particle injector, henceforth PPI. I would like to get your approval to connect the PPI to the station water supply. In essence, the PPI will alter the composition of treatment water by one part per million by mixing exotic particles at regular intervals. Imbibing the water should positively impact psychoactive potential. Approved by Dr. Hans Kelstrup. Required director signature, no. Director signature, okay. So what I think is going to happen here is that if I add that, if I add it to the water treatment facility, I think it's going to make it so that if you drink water anywhere on the facility, it probably restores your psi meter. Because right now all it does is restore like one health and nothing else. I'm trying to think about my character. Would they be okay with this? I guess they would. I've already gone through with the whole injecting with a... Uh, yeah, I guess it's, it's not it's not totally inconsistent then. I'm already okay with putting the stuff in my body because I'm using the neuromods constantly knowing full well what they are. I'm just not doing the thing that turns me into some sort of weird alien monster. Like, I'm, I'm keeping human traits. So, based on that, having the side get restored is not an insane thing to do. So I might do this. 